James Joyce wrote that uh, our errors are our portals of discovery. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's, it's a notion that I think sometimes gets lost in education, in third level education also, where we're sometimes so focused on learning outcomes. Yes, um, and I think it makes students very nervous too, if it's always, teachers have to teach to the test too often as we're looking at measured success and Students worry about learning these specific things because that's what they're going to be tested on instead of imagining and, and exploring what could be. Uh, and I think that goes beyond education. I think that happens uh, throughout politics, that people say, I can go this far. I can't go any further. I have to, um, this is accepted now. This is expected now, but uh, and, but if I go out on a limb, I'm going to lose some people, and uh, you know, and if I if I offer legislation and it doesn't pass, people say, well, what's the point? You know, he's not very effective or she's not very effective. Well, but if you if you offer it over time, it eventually becomes the law of the land. So. Um, I'm a real believer in pushing the envelope and in determining what it is that you're trying to accomplish, uh, whether you're a student, a child, a, an adult, uh, a public official. What is it you're trying to accomplish? What is it? What is your idea of how it should be or how it could be? And go for it. Mm-hmm. And not if you if you aim low, you you'll probably reach it. And uh, if you aim high, you probably won't for a while, but... But you uh, might. But you'll surpass where your aim could have been. Mm. Should, should there be learning outcomes, just to press you a bit on that? I think there should, but I think the way they test for it is not as effective uh, in terms of uh, being able to have people be a, a well-rounded, uh, educated person that is curious uh, as opposed to only disciplined. Um, so I would say the learning outcomes don't have to always be specifically to everybody, a class. They should be specific to the individual. What is it you're trying to learn? How does it fit in what we are trying to teach you? Um, how are you going to um, how are you going to explain to me what you have learned and how and how am I going to be able to evaluate it so kind of an individualized educational plan I think history could be taught in a much more interesting way so in America we have now a core curriculum that is just across the board and Texas makes most of the textbooks. It's not, it's not a good fit for Vermont, the Texas mm, yeah. textbooks. Uh, You're very tactful. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I, you know, I just think that the further up you go yeah. in terms of who's making the decisions, the less accurate you are in really reaching the outcomes that you want for your students in your classroom. Um, so I think it would be great if we had, we talked about creativity. When I ran the mayor's youth office, we had people come and do plays in the local theater about Susan B. Anthony, about Albert Einstein. And, you know, a thousand kids came to see it. That, and they were, um, very interested then in the women's movement. Whether they were in fourth grade or not, they were interested then, and they learned it from a, an artistic, a creative way.